<laughs> Clowny Nerf. Hey guys, it's your Uncle Clowny back for another Heads Overview, and you guessed it by the theme of the thumbnail here. That's right, we're going to go over some new crappy blasters. This is quickly still just becoming one of my absolute favorite things to do, and it's fun. You pick up all the cheap stuff that comes around and just kind of have some fun with it. The first thing on the list is something my buddy Griever sent me. I uh, come out of Five Below. It's a Culvert Team Red Hero Blaster. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Thing I did do a little thing with a uh, live view of this. It is made by apparently Play Tech, and that's pretty much we're all gonna get out of that thing. I have a feeling. Uh, Right off the bat, I can tell you that the trigger cuts immediately into my finger. In fact, you can see the little dent that it makes right here. Like that, the handle is extraordinarily small, even for my girlish little fingers, and the draw is tiny. The darts were shot all over my floor, so I don't know where they are. I'll grab myself a little Busby dart here, and we'll just pop it off into the wall. Well, wow, and it falls into the oblivion hole. Actually, it's not too bad to come with the little dart holder thing, but uh, <laughs> I don't quite know what to make of it aesthetically. It's just okay, but I, I can tell you from shooting it around the house, and oh my god, nerf. This was like the second time I shot this thing. Look at that. Jeez, guys. This isn't nerf. This is a waffle head. This is some third-party China thing. I guess that's why we pay for them, though, like that. But, uh, it's... Yeah, well, I actually got that one back. It's okay. Nothing to write home about. Uh, it's probably going to get gutted to an aesthetic or change the handle off for some crap or something like that. But this thing's it's it's cute. It's funny. It was obviously probably five bucks from five below. So, yeah, if you see one and you have five bucks to waste, go ahead and do it. Something I was excited for was this. Another thing from Five Below, which is becoming a great place to go get these things. This is the Ultra Tech Shot Dart Blaster. Very old school, made by Toy Industries. I don't know who these people... This It's supposed to look like some kind of Mauser or something, I guess. I mean, it's like German... Like, I know, I know. <laughs> the Dart Tech German Shot Dart Blaster. Five shots. Five shots for your evilness. Yeah, you get this in here, you're evil, and you load the old school darts with the jabby thing for your eye, and then you shoot your brother in the face, and they lodge in his eye, and they make you very unhappy because mom come around and spank you. Spank the monocle right off your face. <laughs> Officer Nerf has, says, don't shoot your friends in the eye or your brother, kids. <laughs> so... You guys might remember a little blaster <laughs> I did from kids. There's probably only like one or two of you might actually know. Might actually know these kinds of actual blasters from when we were kids. <laughs> because these things are so unsafe nowadays. Oh, it's actually kind of comfortable. I mean, it's so built. So, oh yeah. That sound. Oh, the sound of impending blindness. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I almost fell down the oblivion hole. It doesn't have a lot of trunk. Ah, no, oh, I take that back. Damn it. Ouch. It, okay, apparently it has a lot of... <laughs> has a lot of pop, but not a lot of distance. Oh, my God. Like, th these things. These things. Oh, I mean, I have another one of these plastic. There goes my tripod. When I was a kid, this thing. I wonder if it's the same company. Of course. Oh, here we go. Made in Hong Kong. Oh, nope. Nope. Made by my favorite people. My favorite people in the world. Ja Ru. Oh, you guys are great. Watch this break this old school toy of mine. Oh, it catches. It freaking catches. Oh, the safety. That's right. This old sucker has a safety. Ah, damn. Still. But, ah, 
that's great. I can, you know, I'm actually probably going to have to go back to five below and buy, I get what, five shots? Five shots? Because there's obviously a really stiff spring in here. I mean, as far as, like, ranges go, I should probably set my crony up for these one of these days, but that's not going to happen. Aesthetically, it's really cool. It's actually kind of comfortable, but there's no way in hell you could use this in a Nerf War. I mean, I mean, these, these things are, like, just, like, padded lethal. And if you lose the heads off one of them, somebody's going to go blind. I guess you could, like, you know, nerf around. I, I, you know what? If you use these in a nerf war, you may just shoot yourself in the face or somebody else, and they want an eye protection after that, because if they don't, then they won't be playing any more nerf. Let me know, because I made a couple of, uh, of, uh, of Slade masks, and they turned out really cool. I'll be more than happy to sell you a Slade mask, so go out and use these things. Blind yourself in one eye so I can make ten bucks. Be <laughs> no, no, don't. <laughs> have some more. How about sense than Cloudy with his German Nazi accent? Oh my god, it even says Jaru China on the thing. Look at this. It says it right here. It's like, like, they, it's formed right over it. I mean, did they vacuum seal this thing over top of this that good? That they spent that kind of money on vacuum sealing this over here? Or maybe this is like with the, the like they, they just put two of these together to make the plastic for this thing? Because I, yeah, oh yeah, see that? Hear that? Right there. Not much to it. It's already going. And pop, there it is. Yep, yep, just break it on camera, clowny. Now that spring's in there, because, you know, you ain't returning these damn things. That's actually a really crappy spring. I kind of wish I wouldn't have broke this thing. But... No, no, no. I do this for you, people. For you. I'll be getting that spring out of there. And no screws, so I'm going to have fun with my Dremel tool going all psycho Hellraiser on that thing. That's going to be a blast. I'm going to put these back in my little thing over here that hangs on my door. With my, with my old school darts. Ow, ow, my God, the heater's hot. Ah, oh, gee. They'll reach across my heater to get in there, and it's burning my armpit and my nipple. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to turn that down now that it's, you know, too freaking late. So, <laughs> so we're two down, and Ja Rue made its appearance already. So, this is another thing yet from Five Below <laughs> that I'm curious about. It's the Toilet Hunter play game. Toilet while you sit. Sit. Who keeps their pants up this high when they take a poop anyways? I mean, in the, the door, it's, it's not at the right angle. There's so much wrong with this picture. Why is he pooping into a coffee pot? They don't understand how this toilet setup works. It's, it, it doesn't go behind them. There's nothing here. This is like like a decanter. And then it goes down into this thing and over here. But the, it's, this is the, there's no handle. It doesn't go off behind him because you can see the little gap right here. There's a gap. And he's like, he's got, at this angle, he's, he's going to pee on his pants if he sharts a little bit. Cause that's not going to be good. <laughs> I mean, his Charlie Brown haircut. Oh, my God. Oh, like, like, they couldn't even bother to animate this in. They just got a picture and went Photoshop stamp. Like, they're <laughs> this is a really cheap-ass box. Like, it, it's... <laughs> they, he's pooping with the door open, too. Like, we all love to do that, but... Now, this is obviously his kid's toy. Or one very lonely guy. Oh, and it comes with a do not disturb thing. So, yeah, I'm just going to sit in my house and poop my cares away with my... He, 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 uh, I, I know what he's missing. I know exactly what he's missing. This is exactly what he's missing. He's missing a hat. He needs a hat. He needs his uh, red, red Trump hat. He needs his red Trump hat. That's what he needs. Make, make pooping great again. With pooping great again. I'll give him a beard. He's Charlton Heston. He's shooting it, shooting at damn dirty poop apes. Over here. Some damn dirty poop apes. Poop monkeys. Poop monkeys. He's making poop monkeys. 
This guy is Charlton Heston. He's shooting it, shooting at poop monkeys. It's just <laughs> getting damn sad. <laughs> <laughs> Open this up underneath underneath this guy's bowels. I'm sure that's a great idea. Okay, so yeah, this is trash. Uh, <laughs> I've seen <laughs> this is like that cardboard that comes in your pizza, and then literally like, but it's not like you can at least like get your pizza cut. Hey, sir, how do you like a cut of your pizza? You like a one slice, a two or three or four. Jimmy, you kind of cut a pizza in a round. Nobody wants a pizza or donuts like that. You're going to throw them back in a deep fryer. No, it's not going to happen. So, so okay. Well, it, okay. It's got a little plunger. This thing looks really familiar. I think I reviewed another blaster like this that I re-barreled that was a piece of garbage. Yeah, we'll just get this out of here and put, put this thing in here. And this, this is gone. This is gone. Okay. Toilet target, do not disturb. So, I guess you're just supposed to hang this on your doorknob when you go into the bathroom. I'm probably going to keep this around because this is you know, worthwhile keeping. Although I kind of live by myself. I don't know who's going to bother me while I'm pooping. I'm going to hang it on my front door. <laughs> hang it on the front door. Just stick a toilet in my living room and just, you know, I can watch TV and everything else while I'm doing that. This is, now, this is an actual functioning toilet look-alike, see? <coughs> you have the bowl, the seat, and all the connections and plumbing. Not this. Not this. This is a, it's a, it's a, well, that, well, that, I'm going to say dump tank, but that's the dump tank. This is up here, and who, look at the, look at a cheap, rigid toilet paper is this. This, this, the more I look at this, it disturbs me so much more. His pants are even billowed out. I mean, I, I mean, like, he could stand to this and take it. I don't understand the Charlie Brown haircut, though. This, is, this guy is having way too much fun with his forced perspective blaster. Blatantly missing the target that is over here. So he maybe he should have opened this eye and he could have seen it was over here instead of having this eye shut. Then he wouldn't be shooting away from whatever is here. And he's... Unless the toilet is facing the door? Because this is hovering in midair. And this is the side of the tank. And for some reason, there's a, a white ball on top. That would make the toilet in the middle of the floor. And this guy's sitting sideways on it. He's sitting side... That's the only explanation that makes any sense. This guy is sitting sideways on the toilet. Facing the... And for some reason, the toilet is in the middle of the room. Like, you walk in the room, and there's a toilet, and this dude is just facing off at some corner, aiming away, because apparently his ass crack goes the wrong direction, and the it must be slanted, or he has one cheek bigger than the other, or something. Uh, so, okay, any hopes of compatibility for this has gone down the tubes. As, first off, I can't get these stupid things open. Secondly, they look like lawn toys. I don't get this. I mean, if okay, you're going to go as far as your way to make it unproprietary as possible. Let's make little rubbery heads on top of oversized boomco straws and then give them ailerons that we flatten. That's a good word. And it, it, it's, it shoots like a boomco, too, speaking of boomco. So, I don't even see why they ridged it. There's, there's no ridges in there to, to, like, to go down the divide in the center of this thing. It's not like it's going in here and then going like this. This is, this is why this thing is $5, because it's a really dumb design. It's actually kind of comfortable. Draw is really short, but then I'm not surprised. Of course, it doesn't retract. So, no, that well, stings a little. But th this dart design is stupidly fascinating I, I don't get why they why they did this and there's no point to it there's no, nothing in there that prevents me from spinning them in a circle I can spin them and spin them because there's no if there was like dividing rods in the thing like that so it has to go over top of them that would make sense get out of the way mr. pooping weird dude this, this is dumb. 
This is dumb. This is dumb. And the barrel isn't even fixed into the damned thing. At least this one's got screws in it. I already know what the internals look like. I've seen one of these things already. I modified it, put a barrel on it just because I could. That was pretty dumb. It's got a little bit of pop to it, but it's still, it's not. It's no this, that's for sure. Ja Rule's definitely got to mark it on this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I'm going to hang this on my Nerf door. This is going to hang on the, on the shop wall door here. Maybe I'll do something with that target, too. I guess that's probably a good idea, because I just have to keep some of these things around because I paid for some of this crap. Maybe I should make a go get the Patreon or a GoFundMe for this. If I ever open up a Patreon, that's what it's going to be. You guys can send me, get my email, get my address and stuff. You can send me crap blasters. Okay. Well, that's not Nerf. I don't remember how much this was. It's a confetti launcher. It's made by Everin Holder from Anaheim, California. <coughs> I have no idea. I'm kind of hoping it's got, like, caps in it, which would be really cool. I picked up a couple of them because I knew they were cheap. And, ew, that's oddly strangey, somewhat kind of phallic looking. I don't care for that. <coughs> there is no handle. Oh, my God. There is no handle here. No handle whatsoever. And, okay, well, it's got a little <coughs> rotating mechie. You can see the hammer got a thing on it, so... Yeah, I guess it is cap-related. Because it looks like caps. So, I get a feeling this is going to make a mess all over my shop I just cleaned up. So, we're going to load this. Just drop it in here. And then... Really? You just... Drop it in here. In you go. Okay. Line her up and close the lid. Okay. It's actually got a really neat design. It's got, like, you know, like one of those things like, no, I'm not cheating. There it is. Oh, and I shoot you and then I confetti you. Oh, damn it. Freaking louder than I thought it was. Ah, oh, now there's glitter and confetti all over my damn shop. Oh! Freaking idiot. Ah! Oh, God, my freaking ears. Oh, it's like. Oh! God, that hurt. Oh! I apologize to anybody with earphones on, because that was, that was bad. Oh, that was bad. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Your buddy Clowny needs a drink for a second here. That was a lot louder than I thought it was going to be. Okay, uh, kind of don't want to do that again. <laughs> but... But I think I'm gonna, uh, for science reasons. So, earphone warning. It's irrelevant at this time because you probably can't hear a damn word. Here we go. Launching. Oh, God, I don't want to do this. Ah, God. Glitter. Freaking shit. Ah. Oh, man. Well, it does what it says. Does it have range claims? Ever must be everywhere. That's what that's short for. V2 shots keep away from children. Keep away from your damn ears. Had a pop to the party. Pop my butt. It's deafening. Christ almighty. Ah. The chambers are relatively clear. Well, it does a pretty good job. <clears throat> I have to give it that. It does a good job, so... Uh, not a fan of this thing. I think, I think I'm think i going to make that part of my loadout. Ah, <gasps> uh, shit. Now I got glitter everywhere. Uh, great. Now my workshop has herpes. 
<laughs> Getting over being sick. <coughs> Seem to film a lot of these crappy videos when I'm ill. Apparently deaf now. So this is what I saw. I couldn't pass up. They have a couple of these. I'm not expecting anything great out of them, so this is probably going to be the only thing I'm going to go for. But it's made by the Hog Wilds people, and you guys saw me do a review on my little double plunger shot thing that Beaker found, which is really cool. The ammunition for these things are hard to come by. Uh, the local craft big box store, whatever the heck it's called, uh, Craft City or something like that, they, they sell these stupid ammo, but they want so damn much for this thing. But I went with the Sasquatch, because, oh, <laughs> oh, wow, that's, that's, that's bad. That's bad. So you're just going to take Sasquatch here, and you're going to grab him by his good old Sasquatch, and you're going to give him a squeeze. Sasquatch is ready for you. <laughs> Sasquatch needs to shave his butt. <laughs> I wonder if Sasquatch can shoot Officer Nerfhead. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Officer Nerfhead! I'm Sasquatch! I'm Sasquatch Nerfhead! You need to cease and desist! No! Ah! Ah! And he just walks off into the woods with Officer Nerfhead's head stuck in his mouth. Just... Ah! Because it won't shoot. And then he gets back later, and they're like, Oh, we have to arrest Sasquatch. He ate Officer Nerfhead. And he's like, Ah, puh, I spit out his bones. And then they gun him down. And that's the end of Sasquatch. <laughs> With his big open mouth. <laughs> and lack of genitalia. <laughs> he died as he lived. In an angry, rigid pose. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and with that... Wait, wait. <laughs> we need to have a little little, little courtesy for, for Officer for Sasquatch and them. Because this, this is the polite thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> and with that solemn note, I leave you. I bid you peace. It's your Uncle Clowny saying, remember, Clowny's watching. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm going to dig two tiny shallow graves in my potting plant, potted plant outside. <laughs> Where's my little shovel?